Fox News discussed Obama's record on the deficit, and they basically got everything wrong. If you listen to some of uh, my, uh, my political critics, they, they always want to paint me or the Democratic Party as this tax and spend and, you know, irresponsible. And let, let me say this. Since I came into office, the federal deficits come down by two-thirds. It hasn't gone up. Charles? Uh, I'm sorry, but I didn't hear that. And perhaps you could give me a praise. Oh, wow. Well, uh, I you know, we'll come back to you. I would have, re yeah. yeah. Because I, I thought you were armed and ready. No, Did you hear I, it? I'm yes, just, I heard okay. it. And he's both. I'm just going to whatever it's <laughs> Big mistake. Okay. Uh, the president was boasting about bringing the deficit down by two thirds, oh, and I guess. And that he's a tax and spend yeah, liberal by uh, his Contrary to the tax and spend critique. Well, I don't know. The deficit has come down by two thirds. How much of that is him? How much of that is the Republicans fighting for sequestration? We can discuss in, ad infinitum. I mean, the real problem is the deficit was so big in the first place, and that was mainly because of the recession. I know you may not agree with that, but when growth was restored, that did a lot to uh, bring the deficit back down again. It, bal it ballooned because of the stimulus, and the president has fought every effort to bring the deficit down. You know, when, when it's convenient for him, he says that Republicans, uh, you know, th th these evil Republicans implemented the sequester, and it's starving all of these programs, these very necessary programs, uh, from the dollars that they need to, to perform successfully. And when he wants to boast about deficit reduction, he then takes credit for it. It's totally disingenuous. And if he's not a tax and spend liberal, then that, def that, that word has no definition. Those words have no meaning. Aren't you sad you didn't hear it now? <laughs> well, I, I am, because I would have said what Charles says, but uh, far more negatively yeah. uh, with passion. <laughs> Look, it's like a guy who, who's, who robs a bank and says, well, let, you know, I left behind a few of the bags. What he, what he did with the deficit is completely unprecedented. A trillion and a half dollars a year. We've never come near to that. He did it four years in a row, the biggest run up in the deficit in history. And of course it was reduced because it was entirely unsustainable. So that's really an empty boast. And still the level he's at now is historically high in pre-Obama days. And he talks about it as if he's eliminated the deficit. He went from saying the deficits are unprecedented under Obama, they're incredibly high, to saying a few seconds later, of course, they, of course, the deficit went down. Which is it, tough guy? Oh, unprecedented, amazingly high deficits. It's incredible. It's horrible. Of course, the deficits went down. The economy's gotten better. And who gets credit for that? Not George W. Bush, dipshit. Okay. I mean, at this point, it's just sad. Like, they did a segment here where President Obama mentions a fact about the deficit under him, and then they come back to these guys. The one in the middle wasn't so bad because he's the so-called liberal on Fox. But uh, Charles Krauthammer and the other guy, uh, let me uh, sum up or boil down exactly what uh, their point was in response to Obama's fact. No! 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 I don't like it. It's an inconvenient fact, so I, no, I'm just going to dismiss it. No, 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 no. And did you hear what Krauthammer said? Uh, it's like a guy who robs a bank and left behind a few bags. Okay, again, Obama cut the deficit. Is cutting the deficit like robbing a bank and leaving behind a few bags? So then what is it when people balloon the deficit like George W. Bush? What, did he rob the bank and fuck everybody's mother at the bank? Uh, it doesn't make any sense, and look, no matter what, no matter what Obama does, they're going to say, we disagree with it. For fuck's sake, Obama saying, hey, Republicans, I did the thing that you really, really want me to do that you say you love. I lowered the deficit. I did your ideas. And then they come back, we're now against our own ideas. Our ideas are bad. We would like to do the opposite. So no matter what, he loses. And to the idea that, oh, yeah, what do you mean? He's a tax and spend uh, liberal. Of course he's a tax and spend liberal. If he's not, that word has no meaning. Then I guess that word has no meaning. Because President Obama cut government jobs. Hundreds of thousands of government jobs have been cut. He increased the private sector by over 10 million. He tripled the stock market. And it, he cut taxes for 90% of the American people. How is that a tax and spend liberal by any stretch of the imagination? And they'd say, oh, Obamacare. Yeah, but the, the heart of Obamacare is what? 
the individual mandate. What's the individual mandate? It keeps the private insurance system in place and in control, and it mandates people go to the private insurance system and buy health care and health insurance. So in other words, there, there is no government in that equation. There is no tax and spend. But these guys can't help themselves, man. It's very simple. President Obama inherited one, a $1.4 trillion deficit. That's what he inherited. He's now cut that to about $463 billion. And what do the idiots on Fox say? Oh, President Obama's increased it. What do you mean? He's horrendous on the deficit. 